always a priority and very important for us to have the opportunity to open uh, the festival with a uh, Canadian film. Uh, we saw Maudie a couple of months ago and we absolutely fell in love with it. It is a lovely, lovely film and that was certainly, uh, that opinion was certainly supported by what happened in Telluride yesterday uh, where the film was, was lauded and vied for by U.S. distributors. It's just an incredible film. Everyone should see it. It's very emotional but very hopeful and um, again we knew as soon as we saw it that it was a perfect fit for op opening gala. What are you looking forward to the most? Are you kidding me? Closing gala. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean there's so many things yeah. and the the special events as well. It's a great lineup, but um, definitely closing gala I think is going to knock our socks off. When I was offered this opportunity that we would create uh, an awareness campaign to educate people and create awareness uh, and a call to action by Canadians through this uh, film competition, I thought it was a brilliant idea. So we, we agreed to do it. We're providing a $20,000 prize to the winning film. You saw today the three finalists, which were chosen by the very amazing jury we put together. Uh, and. Uh, you saw the quality of those films. Now it's up to the public to vote. And starting on September 14th, you can go to uh, ref refugeestories.vif.org to vote for this film. And, uh, and we'll announce it September 29th. And I'm re really excited about this. My film is called Window Horses, the uh, poetic Persian epiphany of Rosie Ming. And it's an animated feature that takes place at a poetry festival in Shiraz with our heroine is invited to uh, present her work. Um, uh, and she also finds the many truths about the father that she thought abandoned her as a young child. So that's like the plot, but really the film is about peace through poetry. It's about understanding others, about listening to other voices, and um, I'm really excited to present it here.